Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and as you can kind of see, we're currently flying through the universe. And every single object you see, that's essentially some sort of a galaxy somewhere out there. There are obviously quite a lot of them, and we've discovered quite a lot in the last few decades. But there are certain galaxies that are always kind of special. Mostly because either they're really massive, because they're extremely easily visible, or because they're extremely large. With some galaxies obviously being record holders. And so in today's video we're going to briefly talk about the largest spiral galaxy ever discovered, mostly because very recently NASA has published this beautiful picture reminding us of what exactly it is. Although this was originally taken exactly 10 years ago, which is when this galaxy acquired its status. The galaxy known as the Condor Galaxy. Also known as NGC 6872, as visible in this beautiful image taken by the European Southern Observatory approximately a decade ago. But we'll also discuss some other really large galaxies discovered, including of course the record holders, some of which I've mentioned just a few years ago. And so let's talk a little bit more about this, and of course compare this to some of the other galaxies we know. But maybe let's start with the Condor Galaxy or NGC 6872 first. This is a galaxy that's about 212 million light years away from us, and it's what's known as the Barred Spiral Galaxy, kind of what we think the Milky Way is. These are well-developed galaxies that very likely existed for billions of years, and because of the bar in the middle, we know that these galaxies maintain their shape for at least a few hundred million years, possibly much longer. But unlike most galaxies that have these bars, the one in the middle of the Condor Galaxy is really, really big. It's about 26,000 light years across, which is several times bigger than anything else we know. And as a matter of fact, the distance from the center of our own galaxy to planet Earth is approximately 26,000 light years as well. And so that's how big this particular structure is. And in terms of the total size, or I guess the total length, this galaxy is also several times bigger than the Milky Way. Actually, in this image you can sort of see a galaxy a little bit above that's approximately the same size as the Milky Way. And so end-to-end, -end, the total diameter of the Condor Galaxy is approximately 720,000 light years. Or about 6 to 7 times larger than the Milky Way and, to some extent, the Andromeda galaxies. But in this case, as you can see, the galaxy is longer for two main reasons. These very long stretching arms. And these arms are, of course, a result of an interaction with another galaxy visible above. IC4970. A lenticular galaxy that seems to be stretching it in just the right way to make this galaxy just a little bit longer. Although, as you can see from this image taken in the ultraviolet light, there is another object slightly farther away, which the scientists believe is responsible for the actual elongation of this galaxy. This is a very small galaxy known as IC4970, and it appears to be responsible for stretching the arms even more. And so approximately 130 million years ago, the close approach of the smaller galaxy resulted in this elongated shape, turning this galaxy the largest spiral we've ever seen. But, as always happens with galactic collisions, this has also triggered a star formation, making certain regions inside this galaxy a little bit more active, and of course creating what's known as the starburst. For example, there's a really big one approximately 130,000 light years away from the center of the northern arm, and the same happens around the southern arm as well. With the ultraviolet observations revealing that many of these stars are less than 200 million years old, when the last interaction between the larger and the smaller galaxy occurred in the same vicinity. But even though this galaxy was originally discovered by John Herschel back in 1835, it wasn't until 2013 that the scientists officially confirmed that this is the largest spiral, mostly because, as you can see, a lot of stars are only visible in the ultraviolet light. The optical observations do make this galaxy appear much smaller. And even other colliding galaxies that used to be spiral, such as the famous antenna galaxies, would technically appear larger in optical light. This one here is approximately 500,000 light years across. And if we ignore the arms, the galaxy you see right here, UGC 2885, or the commonly referred to as the Godzilla galaxy, also possesses a much larger spiral itself. It's about 460,000 light years across. But that's still about half the size of the Condor galaxy, which basically got stretched by its partners and is thus much, much bigger. For example, here, the center contains a lot of old stars and a very low rate of star formation, but as you move along the arms, the stars become much younger and the overall star formation becomes approximately 1000 times more common. This can only be explained by a galactic collision or a galactic interaction, 
that creates certain types of pressure waves, which then force gas to form new stars. This has been seen in a lot of different galaxies out there. And so once again, its size is really due to the interaction with partners, not so much of anything else. And if you consider arms and tails to be an important part of the galactic length, technically we could find something potentially longer. For example, this galaxy, the Tadpole Galaxy, has a tail that's at least 300,000 light years long. And so these tidal tails can definitely get very, very long. But within a few billion light years away from us, only the UGC 2885 and NGC 6872 appear to be big enough to be considered largest spirals ever. It's possible some exist billions of light years away from us and potentially only visible in the infrared light or basically potentially discoverable with the James Webb Space Telescope, but in the nearby universe this is still the main record holder. But obviously not the largest galaxy discovered so far. And that's because spiral galaxies are just really stable shapes. They do require some time to form and they do require collisions from much smaller, usually much less massive, dwarf galaxies. But when larger spiral galaxies form, they create something entirely different. They create elliptical galaxies. So something that resembles this. Basically a kind of a blob. And this is the iconic M87, where the scientists were able to take the first ever picture of a black hole. But this galaxy is just a little bit bigger in terms of size than the Milky Way galaxy. Some, however, like the iconic IC1101, can definitely get much, much bigger. Now, intriguingly, because of the distances, it's still actually kind of difficult to exactly know the size of these galaxies, especially because it's kind of difficult to know where the actual edge is. But for IC1101, even though the scientists believed it to be the largest ever seen before, potentially 2 million light years across, a lot of modern recalculations determine that it's maybe about 600,000 light years across, but does possess an extremely massive core, much larger than anything seen before basically suggesting that it does have one of the most massive black holes in the center, anywhere from 20 to 50 billion solar masses. But in terms of the true size, it does not seem to be the largest anymore. At least as of 2023. It's possible this will change in time, but right now it's not even in the top 50. The slightly more obscure ESO 383-76, the central galaxy of a cluster known as Abel 3571, has now become the official record holder, approximately 1.7 to 1.8 million light years across. But once again, might change in time. With these galaxies, it's really, really difficult to know their exact size. A lot easier with spiral galaxies because we generally can see their shape and also define the edges of the galaxy itself. But if you want to find the true record holders, the true largest galaxies ever seen, you actually have to look at a completely different type of a galaxy. It's also an elliptical galaxy, but it's something referred to as the radio galaxy or radioactive galaxy. Very often a galaxy with two extremely large lobes or extremely large astrophysical jets that essentially creates something like this. This is an actual image, multi-wavelength image, of the galaxy Hercules A. And these are usually in millions of light years in length. And so sometime in 2022, we'll discuss the new record holder. The galaxy currently referred to as Alcyoneus, with a much longer name, G081421-68. The distance between these two lobes is nearly 16 million light years, officially making this the largest galaxy we've ever discovered. And compared to the Milky Way galaxy, which represents a tiny dot on the bottom, here's kind of what it would look like in the same place in the universe. But the actual galaxy producing these lobes is much, much smaller in the middle. It's extremely similar to a lot of other elliptical galaxies which usually produce these radio jets. As a matter of fact, pretty much all radio galaxies discovered so far have always been elliptical in nature. And all of them result in these two very, very large jets. A result of a very, very massive, very active black hole somewhere in the center. And so these are the main record holders as of 2023. But as you've discovered already, all of this changes pretty quickly, pretty often. And especially because of new observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, the scientists might be able to recalculate certain distances and certain sizes, or more importantly, might discover something even bigger only visible to the James Webb. Nevertheless, at least for now, the Condor Galaxy, NGC 6872, is still going to maintain its status as the biggest spiral for at least some time. With a size of about 720,000 light years across, it's about 22 times smaller than Alcyoneus I showed you previously, but still pretty big. 
And so until future discoveries and future records, that's pretty much all I wanted to mention. Check out some of the other videos on this topic in the description below, and also take a look at some of the other links describing these galaxies in more detail. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying a wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.